Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today we are on the south side of Anderson, South Carolina at the famous Crybaby Bridge. And you might wonder why I'm not here at night. Well, Carolina Tony don't do no ghosts. But we're here to give, give you a good story about a ghost. We're right after this station. Identification. This bridge is no longer in use. It was originally built in Virginia in 1919 and it was installed in Charleston to connect two counties together. In 1952, the bridge was moved to Anderson to replace an older bridge. It's an old iron bridge covered in asphalt. In the 1980s, a newer one was set up right next to it, a more modern concrete bridge. It's in the High Shoals area of Anderson. It crosses over the Rocky River down below. There are all types of stories connected to this bridge as to why they call it Crybaby Bridge. There was, there is one story that a woman killed herself because her husband didn't return from the Civil War and she also threw her baby in. There's one story that a lady tossed her baby over the bridge after her husband didn't return home from the Civil War. Then there's another one that says a car accident happened on the bridge. A woman and her young baby died in the accident. Some people say that the woman was driving the car. There's others say that she was in a carriage. They say that if you are on this bridge on a moonlit night and you say the three magic words, kill your baby, or cry baby cry then a disembodied sound of a ghostly infant can be heard some people have even said that they've seen a woman dressed in white floating in the river down below legend of the crybaby bridge i hope you have enjoyed it and you haven't heard me say those three magic words three times because i don't want nothing to show up well, you know what i was talking about crybaby cry crybaby cry crybaby cry i'm getting out of here